former Speaker of the House, Newt Gingrich. You know, if things go well tomorrow in the Commonwealth of Virginia, I, I would argue if Youngkin wins and he's going to join us tonight, that'll be the equivalent of you taking back Congress after 40 years in exile. That would be a big deal. But it would also be the yeah. beginning of what your book title is, Beyond Biden. We'd start right, to, it can start tomorrow. Well, in a sense, uh, Glenn Youngkin's campaign fits the book Beyond Biden because it's a positive campaign. It's a solution-oriented campaign. It, it didn't focus negatively. It focused positively on the kind of Virginia that Youngkin would like to help create. Uh, I, I do want to make one comment about something you said. Uh, the most racist single comment in this entire campaign was McAuliffe saying there are too many white teachers. I mean, you talk about breaking down, forgetting the, the, the content of your character. Let's go straight for the color of your skin. How can some Somebody run for governor basically complaining on a racial basis not that they're competent or incompetent not that they work hard or they're lazy but they happen to be white uh, and I think it just tells you the depth of fear that in order to pander to the African-American vote he made that statement which I think is an incredibly racist comment by contrast I think it's been a fascinating campaign Youngkin decided he was going to run a campaign Youngkin decided he was going to run a Virginia campaign focusing on Virginia issues and then McCullough made this crazy comment in the debate that he didn't want parents to be involved in schools. That began to eat him up. And then the Lowndes County school system, or the Loudoun County school system, uh, turned out that, that they had actually lied to the parents about a girl who was raped in the girls' room by a guy in a dress. And by the way, that guy was transferred to a different school without telling them about his problems, and he attacked another girl in a different school. So people felt that the whole system was lying to them, and uh, I think brilliantly, uh, the Yunkin team had an ad up 20, less than 12 hours after um, McCulloch made this mistake, and they have been pounding away. Education in the last poll is the number one issue in Virginia, more than the economy, and both of those frankly hurt McCulloch. I think you're going to have, as you put it, I think pretty well, this is the first beyond Biden election, if the outcome occurs the way we think it will, uh, for governor, lieutenant governor, attorney general, and assembly, uh, this is going to be a very historic moment tomorrow night. You know, it's, it's going to be very historic. Do, does Yunkin need to win for this to have the maximum impact? What if it's really tight? Now, if it's really, look, if it's, first of all, it's a really tight, they'll steal it. So you can't afford to have a really tight election. Uh, you have to win by a big enough margin they can't steal it. Second, um, the difference in, if, if Youngkin wins, which I think he will if everybody turns out to vote tomorrow, if Youngkin wins, this is an earthquake. If Youngkin almost wins, it's an interesting tremor, but it's not going to shake things up. I, I thought, uh, and I hope that the Republican National Committee has already lined up a commercial, because Kamala Harris comes into Virginia and says, you know, if Youngkin wins, that tells you we're going to lose in 22 and we're going to lose in 24. Well, if he does win, as I think he will, I hope that by Thursday we have an ad that says Kamala Harris was right, uh, Youngkin won, goodbye Democrats in 22 and 24. I think they will panic. I think most of the socialist big government program is going to actually be stopped in its tracks, and you're going to see the Democrats in the Congress uh, start biting each other and in a real sense of fear because this is the beginning of a tidal wave. And by the way, you, I'm really glad you have the Republican candidate in New Jersey on because that race has suddenly become much closer than much we thought closer. it would be. And he has, an, he has a real shot at winning. And we, we, we 